We have this sample budget here, and we're looking at how we can use Google Explorer to ask questions using words about the data to get answers. We already found these answers here that um, gave us spending for economics, the total for salary, total for a fiscal year. Let's take a look at more complicated questions where we look at maybe economics to spending on salary in a specific fiscal year. Let's go ahead and start by highlighting the data we're going to explore, the entire budget data, and clicking Explore in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to use the Answers section here, and we'll start our question. And remember, the trick is you just need to use the words in the data. So use the headers and the words in the data to ask your questions. So if we want to know the total amount um, that economics spent on salary, in 2016-2017, we would word it sort of like that. What is the total amount? And as we start typing the word amount, it suggests it here from our data. We can click to use it. Total amount for economics. Click that. And we want economic salary. As we start typing a salary again, it suggests that from our data. And then we want to focus only on 2016, 2017. As we start typing, again, it suggests this from our data. We can click it and select Enter. And we get the response showing us economic salaries in 2016, 17. We see the answer here. We can click on C formula. And then again, drag it over to our data. And we could say economics, salary, 2016, 2017. <clears throat> Let's try uh, another question that uses um, kind of more complicated wording. Let's look at this time the categories. Let's sort of try to find out what the highest spending categories are. So in this situation, we would ask a question sort of like, what are the highest? And then we're going to use category, even though grammatically you'd say categories, we want to use the exact wording from the table, from our data. So we'll say just highest category. And then we're going to say by total amount. We click enter. And we get here a list of the categories and the total in all of those categories right here in this table. Again, if we want this in our spreadsheet, we can click C formula. We can drag the formula over and we have that information right in our chart. And again, because this is created through a formula, if the data in our sheet changes, this little table here will automatically update as well. All right, <clears throat> uh, let's, let's pull that question up again are the highest category by total amount. All right, so we have this again. The other thing that you'll notice here, because this is data that has several things to compare, there's also the option not only to see a formula, but also to see a chart. And if I click on chart, I will see the chart here of the spending and there's an option here to even change it into a different type of chart and if I want to use that chart I can click on insert chart and that will add the chart right into my sheet as well and again I can click the three dots here if I want to make any changes or work with that chart further so remember when you write your questions just use the actual words that you used in your data and you can learn some really great things without having to know how to write those formulas. So give Explore a try.